Hey everyone, this is Jay Scott with the BigBuckRegistry.com and I am coming to you with a very uh, special story that has been submitted by one of our viewers. Uh, his name's Ed. Ed has chosen to remain anonymous. Um, but Ed is a frequent viewer of BigBuckRegistry.com and he was courteous enough to send in a group of photos of a buck, a very special buck, that he is named Torch. Uh, so here's the story. In September 2011, Ed sees Torch for the first time uh, and deems the buck uh, Torch because his rack resembles the silhouette of the Statue of Liberty. Uh, so Torch now has his name. October 2011, Halloween. The Northeast gets hit with a big snowstorm, a big nor'easter, and it drops a foot of snow on the Northeast. Ed and his brother take to the field and they track Torch to his bedding area by mid-morning. However, instead of going in after him, they decide to leave him alone for the e until the evening for a hunt and hoping that he will come out into a field. The plan is foiled. Uh, a group of hunters push Torch from his bedding area before Ed and his brother can get to the field, and Torch eludes three different hunters that evening without a scratch. Torch is educated, uh, and he is on his A game for the rest of the season, uh, and makes it through the late New Hampshire bow season, and Torch survives the 2011 deer season in New Hampshire. Fast forward to August 2012. Torch is caught on camera in August uh, on Ed's game camera, and that you'll see one of those pictures in the video. Uh, and on September 15th, 2012, the New Hampshire bow season starts, and Ed begins his quest for Torch once again. Uh, but it's pretty slow. Ed does not see Torch anywhere, doesn't uh, have any new pictures on his camera, and uh, has no reports of anyone else taking Torch down. So fast forward to November 4th, 2012. Ed learns of a bow hunter making a double long shot on Torch, but also learns that the that Torch was not uh, recovered uh, successfully because they could not find him due to the rain. So, uh, needless to say, Ed writes off Torch for the rest of the season. So that was it. That was it for, for Ed. Then, all of a sudden, January 3rd, 2013, Ed has his game camera out and Torch shows up again. The ghost lives on. Shows up again on January 8th, only this time missing an antler. Ed uh, scrambles around and actually recovers the antler and finds the other one. And Ed, we want to thank you very much for sending in all your photos. And everyone, please enjoy the show.